Hello readers! So I have not been feeling well this week and I wanted to get a video out and this is not really the type of video that I would normally publish but I was talking to a few people about it on Twitter and it seemed like there was an interest so I figured I could probably avoid a lot of screen time because again I'm not feeling well and also provide some kind of value. So hopefully you find it interesting. I recently discovered a productivity app called Forest and it is kind of planting trees gamified and also the Pomodoro technique all mixed up into one. So stick around and I will show you a walkthrough of this app and why I've been enjoying it so much. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough in regards to this productivity app that I've been using, which is basically like planting trees gamify. And you can kind of use it like the Pomodoro technique. Uh, you may already know that the Pomodoro technique, you kind of focus on something for 20 to 25 minutes, then you take a five minute break, you come back and you refocus for those 25 minutes again. You can adjust this. In this app in particular, you can adjust the time really to whatever you want. If you can see as the time is changing, the tree is growing and so you'll end up producing different trees depending on how much focus time you do. For me, I like to just do 25 minutes. I feel like 25 minutes is a really good number and then I take a short break and then I move on. Bushes are nice, but I would prefer to have a tree. This tree in particular, you need to unlock. So here are some of the different options that you get. As you can see, they're kind of grayed out. Uh, this is the tree that you start with. And again, like I mentioned, the more time you put into it, the shape of your tree starts to change. So just keep that in mind. So this is the basic tree. This is what you get. If you only do 20 minutes, you get a bush. Now, in order to unlock the trees, you need credits. And you get credits by planting trees. So if I can get through a whole 25 minute block, I will get nine credits for that. You're gonna get different credits or coins um, depending on the amount of time that you focus. So the more you focus, the more coins that you get. But again, like I said, I just like doing 25 minutes. So in order to unlock your first tree, you need to have 500 coins. Once you unlock a tree, so this was the first one I did. I did the cherry blossom. I paid 500 coins for that. And now the second round, of trees to unlock is 600 coins. And then I think I purchased a palm tree. So now the next tree that I unlock is actually gonna be worth 700 credits. I'm gonna need 700 coins or credits to unlock that third tree. And I assume it's just gonna keep going up and up. Now, the other thing is outside of what we see here, choosing these species, I believe, okay, so here's the bushes. These are all like the different types of bushes that you can unlock. I don't know how much those cost. Okay, so yeah, those are 700 as well for me right now because I've already purchased two. Now, the other thing is that as far as coins go, I bought an elixir for $1.99. And what this elixir does is for 21 days, I get triple the amount of coins every time I plant a tree. So, um... I don't know, that felt worth it to me. So I, I, I am a gamer, I do wanna unlock things, I wanna achieve things, and so I can see how people might periodically pay $1.99 to make that possible. Alternatively, you can buy a bottle of Elixir for 99 cents, and that gives you three times the amount of reward for seven days. So just something to think about, you can totally use this without doing that, um, but it felt worth it to me. Now, the other really cool feature is that you can do it with a buddy. So if you get somebody to download this with you, you guys can plant trees. And like, let's say me and my husband, well, let's go back to a tree. All right, so I unlocked this palm tree. My husband has not unlocked it on his account. Depending on who creates the room, uh, that's the kind of tree that you'll each get. So even though he doesn't have a palm tree, if he and I do a session together, he will get a palm tree because I started the session and that's the tree that I chose. And the thing to keep in mind is that if you're doing it on your phone, you're not gonna be able to do anything. If you get a phone call, it'll be okay. You can answer the phone call and it won't interrupt your productivity time. It won't interrupt the planting of that tree. But if you pick up your phone to text someone, to tweet, to go to Instagram, to any of those things, your tree's gonna die. And that's how it helps you stay productive. But so if you plant the tree with someone, now both of you have to stay off your phone because if either one of you picks up the phone to do something, it'll give you a quick warning. It'll be like, oh, you better go back to your tree before it dies. But you don't want it to die so obviously you're not going to want to pick up your phone you're not going to want to do stuff now the other thing just to show you kind of what a day looks like when you've been planting trees so this is here just to say hey you haven't been productive today i've been sick so i haven't done anything today let's go to friday these are all the things i planted on friday so i had 240 minutes of focused productivity i planted 10 trees 
and none of them died. Now here is Thursday where I just focused on, you know, doing some palm trees, 125 minutes focused. If you see, there's like a cat tree and I don't, I don't have that one. That was actually a session my husband and I did together and he had unlocked the cat tree. So that's why I got that tree. And so, you know, this is just to show you the different days. And here I think may have been like the first or second time I tried it and I had to make a phone call and I ended up killing the tree. So I lost a tree that day. So outside of it, tracking it that way, it also lets you tag your, your bouts of productivity. So here's a timeline of things that I've done. And as you can see, it's been tagged work. I went in there and I said, okay, this 25 minutes was work. I focused on work. Um, now the other thing that's cool is you can see here planted in my Firefox. So Firefox actually has a plugin that's free and will work with this app. There are some really cool features within the Firefox plugin, but I will show you that, that in a second. So like here you can see that I was productive for 25 minutes, but it says unset. So I can actually edit this and make sure that I set it to work so that I know I spent that time working. And so if I wanted to look at how I've been spending my time, I can see, you know, how I've been productive using the work tag, you know, when I've been focused on work, when I've been focused on entertainment, when I've been focused on, you know, whatever it is that I'm doing, I can tag it however I want. Now there are also achievements that can be unlocked. So here I have the, you know, focus time reached four hours. So I got that achievement. I've done three days in a row. I've done seven days in a row. And each time you get an achievement, you get coins, which is pretty awesome. Now I already kind of showed you guys the shop. You can purchase trees. You can purchase different types of bushes. You can purchase different types of sounds that you can use. Um, as of right now, I just use it on mute. I did unlock the rainforest, but for the most part, I use it on silent. I would say the really, really cool thing about this is that as you collect coins, if you decide you don't want virtual trees, you can actually plant real trees and a real planting a real tree will cost you 2,500 coins. So this is how many trees have been planted by everyone. At this point, I haven't planted any real trees. My friends haven't planted any real trees, but that's an option. So as I mentioned before, there's a free Firefox extension and this is pretty cool. I actually go back and forth between using my phone and using this extension really depending on what it is that I have to do. So for example, if I need to be productive in a way that requires my phone to make phone calls, then I will use the extension here on the desktop app. So this is kind of the customization page this gives you a little bit of info in regards to how many trees I've planted, how many have died, how many coins I have. Here's a history of what I've done, what trees I've created, you know, how many blocks. And as you can see, a lot of these say unset, unset, unset. So um, I can go in there and I can change that so that it's not unset. I can also click to sync. It will sync with whatever it is that I have on my phone. And the other thing to keep in mind is, the, is that there's two settings here. So there's a blacklist setting and a whitelist setting. And I kind of messed myself up the other day because I didn't realize that depending on which one I had clicked, it would be considered active and it would impact the extension. So blacklist is basically sites that you want to avoid while you're being productive. So if I come here, and I turn this on for 25 minutes, for those 25 minutes, I'm not gonna be able to access Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit. And let me just, I can change the time. So it seems like 10 minutes, I don't wanna kill a tree. I don't, like I wanna show you guys, but I don't wanna kill a tree. So anyway, if I turn this on right now for 10 minutes, anytime I navigate it to Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit, it would basically say, you know, you're planting a tree right now. Do you wanna give up? So in order to access those sites while the extension is running and while I'm supposed to be productive, I would have to press the button that says give up and, and kill the tree. So what I didn't realize the other day was I was like, oh, whitelist, what does that mean? And I clicked over here and I turned it on to be productive and it totally locked me out of everything. And so that's when I noticed that if you whitelist something, that is all that you can do when the plugin is running. So I was only able to get access to wikipedia.org. I didn't even know. I just like, I couldn't get into my work website, I couldn't get into YouTube, I couldn't get into a lot of things that normally wouldn't be impacted when I'm using the plugin. So just be aware, <laughs> if you have like a, a single website that you need to be focused on, then you can whitelist it and do it that way. But uh, I think you're better off just probably blacklisting a few sites 
so that you still have access to other things. Anyway, so just like the app, you can come here and you can pick different bushes, you can pick different trees and you can change the time. And then it doesn't always like automatically sync. You can come to that area here where history is and that's where you would click to sync and it would sync with your app. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this demonstration. I really feel like this app has helped me be way more productive than I normally am during my week. And when I first downloaded it, I was actually eager to go to work on Monday. Like that never happens. <laughs> so hopefully you find this just as useful and uh, that's about it. All right, guys. Well, if you found this video valuable, go ahead and be sure to like it and share it with a friend. As always, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.